Well, welcome to the first in a new set of videos as I power through my videos. This we are looking at another lower weight fighter who had a very different career than many fighters in terms of its size, as you will see on the next slide. But we are going through the career of former world champion Sung Kil Moon. Um, we will go through, I'll say we'll go through his career 20 fights at a time. Um, but as you'll see on the next slide, there's no point. Okay, so let us look at this one slide. And on this one slide, the interesting thing about the career of former champion Sung Kil Moon is that this is his entire career. He only had 22 professional fights, okay, going 20 wins, 2 losses, no draws, with 15 KOs. Now, in this 22-fight career, not only was he very highly accomplished, um, but he fought many great names down there. Let us go through. So, Sung Kil Moon beat former top 10 rated champion, former Bantamweight champion, and the brother of brutal super flyweight champion, Kaosai Galaxy. He fought Kaokar Galaxy. Um, many people believed, and I agree, um, the lesser good brother. Um, he then also beat former top 10 rated contender, Edgar Montserrat, before fighting Kaokar Galaxy. He was not a bad fighter. I just don't think he were, he were as brutal as his brother. Um, but he was a top 10 rated champion. He lost the rematch. He then fought another great name now and there, okay, former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Nana Yarkonadu, who was a very, very good fighter down there. Sun Kil Moon then fought former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Gilberto Roman, another excellent fighter down there, before going in for a second fight with top 10 and top 3 rated champion Nana Yarkonadu, um, who will be getting video himself. He then fought former world champion and top 10 rated fighter Greg Richardson. And then he added another fighter, okay, who's... Video for a lower weight fighter um, had a fantastic career. Um, Hall of Famer Hilario Zapata, former top 10 and top 3 rated champion and Hall of Famer Hilario Zapata, fought piles of world champions and had a very excellent career, as you will see on his video when I do that one. But beating Hilario Zapata, excellent win. He then also fought Carlos Gabriel Salazar, former top 10 rated champion, and lose losing his last major fight against former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Jose Luis Bueno. So basically, 22 fights. Let's go through stats at bottom first. Sun Kil Moon had 9 fights against world champions in 22 fights, going 7 wins and 2 losses. Sun Kil Moon had 1 fight against Hall of Fame fighter, going 1 win, no loss, no draw. And from 22 pro outings, he fought 10 men who were top 10 rated with a record of 8 wins and 2 losses. Sun Kil Moon also had 5 fights against top 3 rated fighters going 4 wins and 1 loss and he did not fight a ring champion now when I said I, I can't say go through 20 fights at a time 22 fights but in 22 fights we'll go into his stats after this slide what a fantastically tough career you know losing to um, Kaukar Galaxy after earlier beating him he were a world champion beating Nana Yarkonadu top 3 rated world champion twice beating Gilberto Roman beating Greg Richardson a good fighter beating the great Hilario Zapata that is a fantastically tough career in only 22 fights. You know, he's fought a whole pile of world champions, a whole pile of top three rated fighters, and some fantastically tough fighters. You know, Conadu and Roman and, and all these fighters, Zapata, fantastic fighters down there. So Sun Kill Moon's um, small career, 20 wins, 2 losses, no draws. 15 KOs. I mean, to be honest, Sun Kil Moon's career matches some fighters who've had 40 or 60 fights. You know, that shows how tough his little career was. And I remember watching Sun Kil Moon fight back in days. It's been so long since I've seen him fight. But meanwhile, let's go on to the first of his stat slides. And Sun Kil Moon, in 22 fights, beat six individual world champions. And he fought a combined 76 rounds against world champions. Sun Kil Moon um, beat one Hall of Fame fighter, the aforementioned fantastic fighter, Hilario Zapata, who will be getting a video. Um, and he has one round. He beat Zapata in one round. Now look at Sun Kil Moon's title fight record in only a 22 fight career. He had 15 world title fights in only 22 pro outings with a fantastic record of 13 wins and 2 losses, 8 KOs or stoppages and 11 title defences. A full half of his 22 fight career 
were title defences, okay? But 15 world title fights, he only had 7 fights from 22 that were not world title fights. So Sun Kill Moon fought a combined 112 rounds in his career. And in fights against rated fighters, champs are Hall of Famers. Um, Sun Kill Moon had 10 fights against men under that criteria. And actually in wins against rated fighters, champs are Hall of Famers, he had 8 wins. But again, from only 22 fights. So not only a fantastic list of opponents in 22 fights, 15 world title fights in 22 fights, 11 title defences in 22 fights. Sun Kill Moon got some fantastic stats, some fantastic title legacy, fought many fantastic names in a short career. This is why he deserves a lot of respect. Didn't waste nine years fighting nobodies like some people. Meanwhile, let's look at his KO stats. So Sun Kill Moon scored 15 KOs or stoppages from his 20 wins from his 22 fights. Now Sun Kill Moon scored 6 KOs or stoppages inside 3 rounds and he scored 1 first round KO. When we look at the 3 stats at the bottom, Sun Kill Moon scored 3 KOs or stoppages over many world champions and of course scored the 1 KO or stoppage over the aforementioned fantastic Hilario Zapata. He also scored 8 KOs or stoppages um, in his 13 world title fight wins from his incredible 15 title fights in 22 fights so the small but fantastically tough career of Sun Kill Moon there's his basic career there's his basic stats there's his KO stats let us go on to his title fight accomplishments to close out the video and Sun Kill Moon was a two weight world champion. He was a one weight lineal champion. Sun Kill Moon was the lineal super flyweight champion of the world. And the world title belts Sun Kill Moon held were the WBA bantamweight title. He then also captured the WBC super flyweight title. He won the bantamweight title, if I remember, off KCOR Galaxy, lost it to Galaxy, then went to super flyweight. But 22 fight career, 15 world title fights, all those tough names. Fantastic, fantastic little career he had. Um, there is the career of Sun Kill Moon. Um, many more fighters to go, including a run on middleweights. I'm getting other fighters ready from other weights as well. But I'm going to get churning out some more fighters. I will be back soon um, with more fighters across the divisions. <laughs>